We are back and we are at the spawn. This is a big fish. Middle of the day, bluebird day. That is an absolute. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies. All right, folks, we are back and we are at the spawn. First video I'm doing with the spawn. Let me tell you, it's a beautiful one right now. We've got, we've got 70 degree temperatures. We've got 60 wa degree water temperatures. It's gonna be fantastic, folks. Middle, middle of the day, that could hurt us a little bit. Bluebird could hurt us a little bit. But at the end of the day, we're gonna put big fish in the boat, so stick with me. Please subscribe. We're gonna have a lot of fun, man. We got a lot of episodes coming up with the spawn, and uh, this is the number one. So thanks for watching. Let's do it. All right, before we get started, I wanna touch base on my electronics, folks, because I know that a lot of you guys follow, but not everybody watches every episode. So let me just go over my live scope setup real quick. 8612. This is supposedly the best that Garmin has to offer, although I really do like it. I think the 126 SV is probably the best choice. A great picture. I've got the Cornfield Crappie Gear folding mount that is down here. That's what's supporting it. It basically sticks up there around 30 inches. It can fold down, get out of your way, safety first. Cornfield Crappie Gear, those guys are awesome. I'm powering all this stuff with the lithium batteries. Now, if you are interested in any of these items, check them out at PTG Outdoors. They can hook you up on some live scope stuff, let me tell you. But let me have, check this out. This is the Amped Outdoors deal. And then I've got my Garmin Live Scope battery right in that little bucket right there. See? Now, the first thing people always ask me is, how long does the battery last? I'm figuring right now that the Live Scope battery lasts about two full days. Although I have to admit something, and that is that I've noticed that the battery power is going down a little quicker than it did originally. But I guess that's to be expected. That's a 48 amp hour battery that I'm using for Amped Outdoors. So you can check them out. I don't know if PTG sells that stuff or not, but they'll hook you up with the live scope, the trolley motor, all that stuff if you have any, if you have an interest. So that's my setup. Um, a lot of cornfield crappie gear stuff. Today we're gonna to be fishing primarily with hair jigs, the stuff that I make online. You can see that at threepoundfishing.com. So let's put some fish in the boat. Let's do it. to start the episode off, man. Spawning crappie. This has got to be a, gosh, tonight this is a 14 inch. Let's see. Eggs, black fish, awesome. Ooh, that was fun. Now I know some of you guys that have watched my episodes love the active captain, I know. Spawn is a little bit more difficult with active captain. So you can see these fish right here. That's what I'm targeting. And I wait till they get about to that point right there, 14, before I pitch to them. And they're actually at 10 now, but you can see me dropping in there. So we drop right back in. We try to be as efficient as we can with drops. We don't cast it too far. We don't, we don't waste time with them. There he is, got him. Good fish, good fish. Well, there you go, folks. That's dropping on spawning crappie. Believe it or not, they don't all spawn up shallow. They will spawn out here in the middle where they feel comfortable. Every fish is different, just like people are. So um, this guy hammered this jig. This is my my uh, gumdrop jig. You gotta check it out on my website. It's freaking on fire now. Fish number two, that's solid, man. That's a solid, heavy fish. So I've talked about it before and you know one of the things that I will always do when I'm fishing by myself is I'll fish stuff that I just don't typically fish um, and on this particular cove I'm just looking for structure I'm just wandering around with my live scope and wandering around just looking for things and I stumble across a little structure in the center and uh, we hook up to a really good fish but for the most part that's what I'll do when I'm by myself stuff that I typically don't fish.
This is a big fish. We're gonna let him fight his way to tire, to be tired. how big that fish is. Good night. Unbelievable, that's fun. That's a massive black fish. <laughs> 218, 218, middle of the day, bluebird day. That is an absolute tank. Wow. All right, I will show you guys a little hack. Hack special, that's what this is. So I uh, put all my weights in this nice handy dandy little, uh, deal every imaginable size weight i even put my bobber stoppers in there and also the beads for my my slip floats anyway i use it a lot thought you'd like to see it it's pretty cool it's very convenient got sevens fives and threes in there for weights for split shots which is what i always use and uh having those other items like the bead stops uh slip float stops and all that stuff um helps out looking fish not a big fish but you know <laughs> this has got to be this is this is awesome because that's a white it's a white crappie right there that's awesome that's a lot of fun this is a rapella tournament scale if people want to know what that is um, we use them in the tournaments obviously they're probably the most popular yeah 1.5 man i'll take a bunch of those that's for dang sure for dang sure that's what i take when I'm out here by myself, I actually had a guide trip this morning. It's the reason why I'm, well, I'm out here in the middle of the day and had a guide trip, but we did fantastic, double limit. It was, uh, it was phenomenal. I said, I gotta come on out here and do it on my own. When I go out by myself, I fish way smaller structures and uh, I focus in on just, really just the big fish. And if a guide trip wants to do that, I'll, you know, I'll do it. Uh, you just won't catch as many fish. It's all about the numbers. So we had a fantastic morning. It was unbelievable. Solid fish, folks. That's awesome. These fish are still just outside of these spawning areas. I mean, I'm sure you can catch them inside the spawning areas. I mean, that's no joke either, but uh, the fact is, is they're pretty much everywhere. And uh, I, I've tried it up on the weed edge. I've thrown a, a floaty, I've thrown a, I've thrown a jig, I've thrown everything. And I can tell you that the, the most fish that I'm catching are the ones that are on the structure right now, just outside the spawning areas. But that actually probably holds true for what I did last year. I remember I had more success on the structure outside of spawning areas. So uh, it's always interesting how uh, 
what works for everybody. It just, it's a you know, different scenario for, for different people, that's all it is. Oh yeah, baby. Big fish. Man, I didn't even think they were gonna be that big. That's a great fish, man. We're gonna end it on this fish, folks. Thanks for watching, I appreciate it. Bottle three pound fishing, baby. Thanks for watching 3 Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies.